game actually loaded so fast here that I actually had to reload the save. <laughs> This, this right here, it really reminds me of Oculus. The last origami figure, the last trial. Like the room, the, 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 the plain white and gleaming room with a table and some mirrors there. You'll see them in a second. Um, it really reminds me of Oculus. And by the way, if you haven't seen that movie yet, it's on Netflix and it is a damned good horror movie. Very Stephen King, Lovecraft, you know, monster-esque. Cool stuff. It's basically about an evil fucking mirror. So this is interesting. What have we got here? Boop. The last trial. The last question. Are you prepared to give your life to save your son? There is a deadly poison in this file. It will kill you in exactly 60 minutes. If you drink it, you will get the last letters of the address. Well, that's why the origami didn't tell us what this was going to be about. Kill myself to save Sean? That's ridiculous. I'll find some other way. I'm sure I can save him. Save Sean. And die. Christ. He loses his father, but at least he's alive. Maybe it's the right thing to do. There's got to be another way. I can't kill myself to save my son. We're gonna exhaust our dialogue here. He could be lying. Maybe I'll die as soon as I drink this and then no one can save Sean. The cameras, he must be watching me. Am I willing to die to save my son? Nothing to lose. I've come too far to stop now. There's no choice, I've got to do it. If I wanna save my son. One hour to live, just enough time to save Sean. Poison. So, if I drink this, I'll be dead in an hour, and if I don't, I won't get the last letters. Welp. So we can refuse, we can walk out. I think if we walk out, we get, like, a couple of choices as to which place to go. And we'll, we'll if we pick the right one, we'll still arrive. I think, if I recall correctly, that's what happens. We're gonna see this ending, I guess. This, this is basically determining an ending to the game. It's possible that if we don't arrive there, you know, if Ethan gets locked out of the story this way by not being able to get to an address, it's not impossible that Sean might still survive. Just Ethan won't save him at all. Uh, maybe Madison will save him. Maybe, maybe, maybe Shelby will save him. Maybe Norman Jaden will somehow get there. You know, we, we don't know. But uh, I, I believe I can do a chapter select and continue playing the game from this decision later on. I uh, Before I started this episode, I tried to look for my save files, but Epic Game Store is a piece of shit, and there's zero information online because this game was originally on PS3. I, I tried looking at my app data, roaming, my app data, local low folders, you know, all of my folders. I couldn't find anything related to Quantic Dream or Heavy Rain in my documents, app data, etc. Yeah, I can't even find the game's install location. Uh, I, I can, actually. That's that's a lie. I probably could, but I didn't look. Maybe that's where it is. I don't know. I don't have a save backed up, so we're just, we're, you know, this is what we're doing. No take backsies. I'm sorry, what are my three decisions here? I'm looking at it, I guess. Bottoms up. Must not feel good. Must not feel good. His movement frame rate there is pretty weird. The last letters have been sent to your phone. Theodore Roosevelt Road. We probably... 
I really feel like we could have figured that out if we just thought about it a little. You know what I'm saying? I did what I had to, Sean. Your dad's coming to save you. I really feel like we could have figured that out if we just looked at the letters a little bit. We had all the numbers. See, I, I wonder, uh, at some point, I think after the game is finished, after we get an ending, I might come back to the chapters and maybe try and explore some of the other options. Just to, just to show those off to you guys. Because I think it's interesting, and also, like, the chances of you guys actually getting this game are really low for the next year. Because I don't expect any of you to go to the Epic Game Store and buy the game. Please don't. Don't support those fuckers. <laughs> I feel guilty that I bought the game at all I bought it for five dollars on 50% off sale but like don't do it <laughs> you know what I'm saying we've only got a few more hours left to save Sean Mars there has to be a goddamn clue somewhere it's probably staring me in the face this kid's gonna die and I'm going around in circles poor fucker he's hit a dead end All packed up and ready to go. What are you talking about? The investigation's over. We know who did it. We no longer need your services anymore, Norman. So you can ride your files all the way back to Washington. Fuck you. I'd be lying if I said I was gonna miss you. The Eat investigation dick. isn't over. You have absolutely nothing on Mars. Mars is guilty. Case closed. Then where the fuck is Sean? Anyway, it's no concern of yours now. You're off the case. So pack up and fuck off. You don't have the authority to tell me that. Blake, you are an unbalanced, psychopathic asshole. I'll take that as a compliment. Honestly, I don't give a shit what you think. I found the origami killer. Everyone's happy. End of story. Yeah, and go eat dick. Back. Norman. Norman. <laughs> Fuck you. I'm not done. Ah, shit. We're freaking the fuck out. Whoa. I didn't get a choice there. The killer's name is here. Somewhere in this data, I just have to find it. Find it before it's too late. Oh, one last thing, sir. You should be careful not to overindulge in you know what. That's it right, people. Is. We're fucking Very killing ourselves here. Us. It'll end up killing you if you're not careful. We're not gonna fuck around with what environment we're in this time. That would be most unfortunate, sir. No time. We gotta figure this shit out. Clue time. I I guess we're actually going for file time, damn it. Nothing new there. Let's go back. I said clue time. Damn it. Gotta be something new here. Orchid. Orgami. Two receipts from the same gas, gas station. station. Might be near the killer's home. Yeah, could be, could be. Analyze this shit. Get me a location, damn it. Ugh, oh, that doesn't get us anywhere. Shit. Look at his face there, like his lip the curl the up. Killer left at the Blue Lagoon. Perhaps there's some way of tracing. Whoa, his game. Holy shit. Calm down. Give me something here. Give me something. Oh, uh, I could do a geolocation on the Impounded receipt, probably. In a police case five years ago. Ah. The gun is still supposed to be in police custody. Huh. Who checked it out? If not a cop. Killer might be a cop? Hang on. Let's do a geo analysis here. Can we do one? The killer lives in this zone. There we go. Two people live around there. Not good enough. Gotta find a means of identifying the killer more precisely. I mean, that's a damn good geolocation, though. Okay. Um, don't presume we can do a geo on the uh, other thing. What's that? Looks like the killer is a cop. Carter Blake. That would explain the dead-end investigation and his desire to frame Ethan Mars. No, doesn't fit the... Investigate further. 
Try harder. Analysis is impossible, right? There's nothing to analyze here. Can we do a geo on the gun in any way? No, nothing. Okay. All right. You can put it down now. No need to stare at the map. Is there anything else we Harry have here? Blue Lagoon. Ooh. Ooh, it was in record mode. That's right, we had it open. Analyze that. I love this shit. Norman sections are so fun. Play it. I can pause it, apparently. Can I get like a look at his eyes or anything? Like, maybe more details on his face? Maybe there's something useful here. I don't... I don't... What was I supposed to see? Play it. Like, did we get a view of his face or something? Is there something there? I don't. The sword? sword was already in Paco's office. I know that. It's got nothing to do with the killer. I know. What? Okay. Like maybe we had his face somewhere in here. That's me. Nothing. I was hoping there would be a shot with his face in it, basically. Damn it. I can't like I can't look at the video and look at the controls for the video. Go the watch. I'm sure I've seen this before. So. <gasps> ah retirement. Or no promotion. After a certain amount of years of service, right? Gold watch. The watch they give for promotions to lieutenant. The killer is a cop. And a lieutenant. Can we... Can we analyze further? Can we, um... Can we look at the killer as a cop thing now? Perhaps? Is Carter Blake a lieutenant? Oh, come on, man. You gotta give me something more. Uh, let's take a look at our files now, maybe. I do literally think, like, if we do this, if we don't, if we, like, keep doing this, but don't figure it out, he may literally fucking die here. Victims? How is this helpful? There isn't a single new file? Really? I don't understand. Is there something new to analyze, maybe? With the MO, perhaps? There is always a railroad line adjacent to where the bodies are found. And all the victims disappeared in the fall. Okay. Damn it. I keep trying to use my left stick to move like I'm moving his head. Anything new to analyze here? The killer is white, aged between 30 and 45. He is intelligent, calm, and determined. An organized type. He has a car. He's probably employed, but his work allows him free time. Huh. What does this get me? Killer was a cop. Is there anything new to analyze with any of these? Damn it, I keep using my left stick. There must be something new in the in the video that I'm not seeing, right? There's gotta be something in the video I'm not seeing. There's the watch. Play. Like, his eyes are in there. There are eyes in that shot. Like, getting his eye color could be, like, stupid valuable, you would think. Sword. Nothing there, I don't think. I don't know. I got I got nothing. What the fuck? 
Okay, now maybe if I pull up my map, maybe there'll be something new on my map? Whoop. Okay. <laughs> Just a circle. Fantastic. What the fuck? What am I supposed to do here? I don't... <laughs> It's nothing with this. It's nothing with this. Let's pull that away. It's still in clues somewhere. What if I need what if I need to go out and talk to someone? Like what if I need to go talk about the lieutenants? Let's go let's go see. Maybe I need to go talk about lieutenants, right? No, I'm con no. My two options are to give up or continue. Okay. What the fuck? I guess I got to try analyzing every single thing now. Wrong stick. Anything new here? Can we cross-reference the fucking origami shop with the area? No. There's nothing new there. Try analyzing the orchid again, I guess. Have we ever seen any orchid trails in the office? <laughs> Cultivated in a pot. It's not super helpful. No, nope. just there's just nothing helpful. I, I wonder if I missed a clue. Maybe I missed a fucking clue. I might have missed a clue. And there's no geo analysis on the gun. What could I have possibly missed? I feel like I clicked everything, and he just he just doesn't give a shit about uh fucking Madison apparently. I don't understand, folks. I think I I think I didn't get a clue. Geo analysis of the cop thing. Hey, cop. what's that? There's only one cop in that geo profiling zone. Holy shit! Gotcha. We had to geo profile the cop thing. I he didn't think of that. House on the docks. If I'm wrong, Sean Mars is dead. We did it. Game is lagging like a motherfucker. Fucking PC ports, man. Game. Now oh, we're freaking the fuck out, probably. We don't have time to freak out. What? <laughs> What's that expression? <laughs> Game. Let me stay with you, Scott. I don't want to go. Look, it'll only take a couple of days. Long enough to get this resolved. Yeah, this lag is like screwing up the sinking. That sucks. Killer. I feel like no one checked it's the, the quality of these scenes work. when they did Trust the port. Me. You know, well, like the first few scenes are fine. Days and I'll come and get you when this is all over. Tell me who the origami killer is. I want to know who killed my son. Listen, when I'm done, I'll tell you everything I know. I promise. What? What? Okay, yeah, sure. Why not? <laughs> Why the fuck not, right? Yeah, okay. <laughs> sure. I have at no point really noticed any sort of romantic uh, uh, signals between them, but okay. <laughs> ah! Hold on, John. I'll get help. Just hang on. Go on, hurry. I think the water's rising. I'm hurrying. I'll be right back. Okay. I guess we're gonna see the full story here. Mom's work is too far away. I'd never make it in time. We're going this way. Gotta find someone. The water's still rising. John won't be able Run to faster, run fucker. <laughs> Dad, I've gotta get Dad. He's the only one who can save John. 
Gotta move. There's the trailer. Need to get help fast. John's gonna drown. John's gonna drown. All right, you drunk piece of shit. I'm sure you're totally gonna help. Hold on, bro. I'll find someone. Then we'll come back and save you. Padre. Dad, Dad, it's John. He, he fell into a pot. Oh, He's get out of here, you little pest. Leave me alone. Gotta come, Dad. Come on, John's gonna die. John's gonna die. Well, that'll be one less greedy mouth to feed, won't it? Go away. Please, Dad, I'm begging you. John's gonna die. John's gonna what die, Dad. What did I tell you? Crap. Fuck you. <laughs> Fuck you times Please, fucking 20 and a half. You've got to save John. I hope you kill yourself, sir. I tried, John. I really tried. But he wouldn't come. Please don't die, John. Please. <laughs> don't. Don't forget about me, Scotty. Don't forget about me, And, uh, there's your reveal. Yep. Yep, yep, yep. Yep. White male, aged 30 to 45, probably employed, but his job leaves him time to... Plenty of free time. He uses a typewriter, or a Royal Five. He is calm, determined, and organized. A man who visited the parents of the deceased children, who was supposedly hired by the families, of the deceased children, yet we never see a parent that actually hired him. Isn't that strange? A man who, when Lauren seems so close to finding the truth, suddenly Scott becomes, well, a bit recalcitrant about it. Suddenly seems to not want her to progress any further. A man who collects the evidence left behind that the origami killer gave to the parents. A man who is tying up loose ends. Yep. Hopefully you're seeing all of the signs now. If you didn't from the beginning. There was one point where I noticed a clue that I had not noticed before where I, uh, man, I had trouble not saying anything. And that's where Scott gets the envelope from Lauren and then says, oh, he must have a typewriter. And the typewriter Scott uses is literally in the same fucking shot. Same typewriter. Now that doesn't even make any fucking sense. That's a weird one to me. That, that, that to me seems like the game is fucking lying because we were there, we played a Scott and that didn't happen at all. So that's real stupid. That's the only big like hole in the game right there where that clearly didn't happen, but you know, whatever. I, I guess the writers couldn't figure out how to get that one over on us.
We were previously a police officer. We were a lieutenant. We used our connections. And of course, we know exactly how to make sure that the police won't find shit on us. Connection so strong that they just get us out of any suspicion that we had whatsoever. And next time, we will, well, pretty shortly resolve this story. See you then.